Do you feel underappreciated in your job and wish people would just notice you? Do you think that you are carrying so much burden on your shoulders, yet you don't get fairly compensated for it? Do you feel that everyone is just taking advantage of you and you just wish you could act on it? Well, then you might want to take a look at the movie Employee of the Month. Original title, L'Employé du Mois. Because there you can see how that might turn out if you finally step up. And I guarantee you, it is not exactly how you would imagine it. So if you want to hear more about that, then join me for this short review video. Ines works for a company that is producing cleaning products. She started there as a secretary with an entrance level compensation and now more than a decade later, she is still paid and listed as a secretary while having taken on several more duties. Basically, she is running the show and everyone knows it, but nobody is appreciating it and nobody is praising her for it. Ines is a calm person and everyone is just taking advantage of her, which she is trying to explain to herself is not that big of a deal because she knows how valued she is and she celebrates her own successes. However, that stopped to work the day where a new intern came to work with her. As Ines, of course, is supposed to take the new girl by her hand and show her the ropes, because everyone else is busy, her fresh perspective is soon forcing Ines to face reality and finally open her eyes. Si ça ne tenait qu'à moi, tu serais élu employé du mois tous les mois. Mais tous les autres sont augmentés. What then happens is that she finally dares to ask for a raise. Anna Nielsen a dit que l'égalité salariale devait bien sûr. Et on va tout faire pour y arriver. Hmm? Dès l'année prochaine. And when she is denied that, things are starting to spiral out of control. Moi aussi j'ai droit à une augmentation. Moi c'est pas le moment. Ça fait 17 ans que tu me dis ça. Slowly at first. On va pas s'énerver pour des affaires d'argent quand même. But then speeding up and getting quite bloody along the way. This Belgium comedy can score on two levels. First of all, it has a funny cast with Ines, the underappreciated secretary that finally dares to stand up for herself as the likable person in the lead with Yasmina Doyib doing a great job portraying her, as well as her co-star Letizia Mampaka as Melody, the new intern that just helps Ines open her eyes without actually trying to. The both of them have a great dynamic and all the other employees around them, of course all men, are also doing a great job of playing complete assholes, which makes you happy when one or the other of them is meeting a bloody demise that they have coming to them. But as I said, it's two things. It's not just the cast, it's also the screenplay, which here is doing a great job of slowly escalating things and turning Ines from the wallflower she once was into the strong character that is just getting things done that have to be done, without any excuse. And as sexism in the movie is a recurring theme and is not just showing up at her office, the movie also comes with a fitting end that I don't want to spoil here, which is putting a nice closing accent on top of it all. Now, before we go to the rating, let me ask you to like and share this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you are no subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. Now for the rating. As you have heard, the movie is quite entertaining, it's funny, it is coming with a likable pair of women in the lead roles and some really sleazy male characters who are just asking for us to applaud when they finally meet their demise. The movie itself, though not overly bloody, is also coming along in a quite dark tone that you also enjoy. So of course you have more a dark comedy here than a horror movie. But that is also actually more fitting for this movie because as a straightforward horror movie, I think it might not have worked. Honestly, I cannot put my finger on it why I am not scoring it with a 9 out of 10, making it an excellent one. 
but I will instead go with an 8 out of 10, making it the great one where most things are done very well. I guess the main reason for choosing 8 and not 9 is a gut feeling based on the fact that along the way the movie had a few moments where I thought okay here they could have done that a little bit differently that might have elevated the movie even further. So again as I say I cannot really put my finger on it but 8 out of 10 is a fantastic score nevertheless. Sometimes rating a movie also means going with your guts to a certain degree. So I hope you are fine with that and can understand that even though I can't explain it I'm still going with 8 out of 10 instead of higher. The movie still comes highly recommended, so if you can find it someplace, just rent it, stream it, or if it is shown in a movie theater, go there, sit down and watch it. After you've done so, just let me know how you liked it and whatever you like to share, just let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.